Hello, everybody. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to create drop down menus in Show It on both desktop and mobile. Um, so, I'm going to be doing this um, as a sample on my own website. Uh, I won't be making it live, but I'm going to use this um, just as an example. Um, we will be utilizing um, Canvas views. So, I will go ahead and get started. Um, so, obviously, we're going to be working on navigation up here. So I have these set aside canvases because it's on every page in my website. So I'm just going to click to edit that. The first thing I'm going to do is create a canvas view here and put everything in it. One. So basically, it's just this logo and I have a very simple navigation up here. The next thing that I'm going to do is duplicate this. So now I have two of these. So view one is going to be what people see when they are on your website and view two is going to be what they click on um, for the drop down menu. Uh, keep in mind you cannot do hover drop down menus on show it because it is not um, mobile friendly. Uh, so for right now at least um, they are going to be click actions. So now I'm going to create what I want the drop down menu to look like here. This is obviously just a very quick design. And I'm going to keep it a color just so that you can see it well. Make it, I'll just keep it black actually. Um, I like to utilize the icons to make it just look a little bit nicer. I am looking for this guy. Great. Just going to resize this a little bit, center these. And I'm also going to center that more on the thing. Okay. And Something to keep in mind, because this is something I've already done, is see these have been added onto view one instead of view two. Remember view one is what people are going to see when they get to your website. View two is going to be the menu. So I'm gonna click and drag these down into view two. So here's view one now, and here's view two. Great. So I'm gonna add a couple of options here. I'm just gonna use my existing branding that I have set up in here. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make these aligned to the left. So hypothetically, we're going to put show it development as one. Second one I'm gonna make here is just uh, show it site maintenance. These are all services that I offer. And three here, I am going to choose website design. Okay. And these are, again, I'm not making this super design friendly, just so you get the basic idea, but then you would use these click actions. Um, if you had a different page for each service, you could link it to that, to another canvas, um, etc. That's how you would then link those individual things. You can add um, hover effects here um, for, I like to add a little bit of opacity change when people hover just so they know it's clickable. And I'm using the um, special paste option here, uh, which is another one of my videos. Go check that out. It makes things super easy to paste styling. Okay, so now we're going to do some click actions so that uh, your mob or that your uh, drop down menu um, clicks through. So we're going to go back to view one and this instead of going to my work with me page is going to now go to a canvas. This, which is on this canvas, and we're gonna go to view two. And then when we're on here, if I click on this again, I'm actually, since this is on top of work with me, 
it's not going to work to click. So we're going to make sure that work with me is on top of everything else. There we go. Now we're going to make this canvas view one. So now if I go back to my page and I preview it, now when I click here, ah, see, and these are all good happy accidents because it just lets me teach you more things. Um, this is now view two, but since I have um, edge locking on these, I'm going to go back in and do edge locking on the drop down menu as well. So we're going to put all of these things on the same edge locking so that they move the same way. All right. Now we will preview again. And now you have a super great drop down menu. These obviously aren't linked because I don't have pages made for them, but you can see how the hover feature um, is being utilized there as well. And then if I clicked on this again, it disappears. So that's how you do it on desktop. It's basically the same on mobile. You're just setting it up a little bit differently. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of there. And I'm going to go over to my mobile navigation. OK, so instead of doing it uh, horizontally, we just have it done vertically. And you're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to create a canvas view, move everything into it, and then duplicate it. Great. Now what I'm going to do is just move contact down. I'm going to do the same box. Something similar, just that fits well. I'm going to do that same icon. And obviously I'm doing this on the mobile navigation and not the same canvas, um, the navigation canvas. This is going to be the navigation canvas, um, just explaining kind of how that works too. This header is the same as my navigation, but since we're working on mobile, we have the hamburger that opens the mobile navigation. So you're working on mobile navigation here. Okay. That icon, we're going to change to the little triangle. Let's put this guy just up on the side here. Just, just a little habit of mine. This is where my design eye really comes out because I'm picky. There we go. Move that down just a little bit. Okay, now I'm actually going to go back over to my desktop and just grab these three things because it's just easier to grab over here. I'm going to copy these. And I'm also going to make sure I unclick all of this on mobile. Except for our hamburger here because we just want... Let's see, I unclicked that guy. So you just want your simple navigation over here. All right, so I'm grabbing these. Copy. We are going to go back over to our mobile navigation. In our second view, and I'm going to paste those. Now I'm going to turn these on here. There they are, and we're just going to restyle them. And obviously you're going to have to play a little bit with the sizing of fonts and so forth. We'll make these 10 and see if that works. Just going to line all of those up now. 
great. And then again, you could also add the hover, but since I copied it from the navigation on the desktop, it actually copied that styling over, which is convenient, except it's not going to work on mobile because you can't use hover actions on mobile. Um, it won't, uh, it will not affect the way that it works. It just won't work. Um, okay, now since we have our second view, we're going to cre create our click actions to uh, make the drop down work. Again, canvas, this canvas, and view two. And here we go with going back to canvas, this canvas, and view one. And now when I preview it here on mobile, Ah, so it looks like I have some other action, click actions. Ah, here I have some uh, click actions that are unnecessary. So uh, if you're having troubleshooting issues, make sure that you don't have any other actions set. You may have them on this as well. You do, great. So that's an, a good example of troubleshooting. All right, and now we are working. Now this pops up and goes away pops up. This is showing a hover because I'm on the computer, but it would not show on mobile because phones do not pick up hovers of our fingers. And that is how you do simple drop down menus on mobile and desktop. Uh, I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, pop a comment in and let me know.